In this video, we will discuss rules to approach an RC in a fast and effective manner with the help of skimming. So what is skimming? You must have heard that we skim milk to get the cream or milk fat out of it. Similarly, skimming in reading is the process of extracting the important parts or main gist by selective reading. While reading, we skim the significant details sufficient to solve the RC questions in minimum time with maximum accuracy. Knowing what to read and what to skip can be one of the game changers to solve a passage. Let's start. Most of the time, only what is written after the word that is important for us. Rhea told Rita that Rohan is a liar. Relevant information in the statement is that Rohan is a liar. Rhea told or Priya told is irrelevant. One of the most common developments is that a sense of trust begins to build. Part of the sentence stating one of the most common development is not of any use. This rule applies only when sentence has this structure. So and so said that or so and so research in so and so laboratory revealed that in such kind of sentences. What is written after that is important. Next we have a clause is a group of words that include a subject and a verb. Relative clauses are clauses starting with the relative pronouns like who, that, which, whose, where or when. They are most often used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. We can skip relative clause as most often they contain extra detail or additional information. Our first sentence says, Einstein, who was a school dropout, is famous for his theory of relativity. Here relative clause is, who was a school dropout. It is just giving additional info which is not important. The relevant detail is that Einstein was famous for the theory of relativity and not for being a school dropout. So we can skip this relative clause. Similarly, Relative clauses like where my brother lives, whose father teaches at the school can be skipped while reading. We can skip dependent clause as well and focus only on independent clause. An independent clause is a part of a sentence that can stand on its own. It makes complete sense when read as a standalone sentence. Whereas a dependent clause does not make sense on its own. For example, look at the first sentence. He finally finished his novel after months of research. Here, he finally finished his novel is the independent clause, as this can stand on its own as a separate sentence. And after months of research is a dependent clause. The important info is that he finished his novel after months of research or years of research is just an extra info which we can skip. Similarly, in other examples, we can skip dependent clauses when I reach the station and since no one else volunteered. There are certain keywords in RC that help us identify the ideas or flow that follows in a passage. These connecting words play a key role in skimming. We have four types of flow words, namely sequence words, contrast words, cause and effect words, example words. Let's look into each type in detail. Words like further, besides, in addition to indicate that something to support the idea will be written after them. These are known as sequence words. Please pause the video. Read the passage and identify the sequence words. I hope you have gone through the passage. Now data which is written after the highlighted sequence words in addition to furthermore and also is just supporting the main idea that government provides various services to people. You can skim very quickly through all the other details followed by sequence words. 
moving on to contrast words these are words like but on the contrary still rather than which indicate a contrast to what has already been said like if i say your grammar is good but you can guess that what will follow will be in contrast to your good grammar like your grammar is good but vocabulary is weak please pause the video and read this para and find out how contrast words are being used as you can see the words like while and unlike are comparing green sea turtle and loggerhead sea turtle so without reading the whole passage you can obtain the gist that two types of turtles are being compared words like accordingly since because come under the category of cause and effect words these type of words conclude or provide the reason behind what's mentioned before them pause and take a look at this paragraph since and because are just giving reasons why sea turtles are in threat which is the main gist here next we have words like for example or such as these are known as example words we can skip the text after these words because an example will follow which is of little significance while solving an rc passage read the first sentence not all birds eat berries for example now the sentence after for example that is vultures eat dead animals is just extra information of the main idea that not all birds eat berries and therefore can be skipped in these sentences too we can skip what is followed by the highlighted example words apart from this there are other ways as well in which some example or specific detail can be mentioned please look at the example elements of painting like trees horses and cowboys are not useful data and can be skipped it has been observed mostly in research related passages that you will come across heavy technical details this can be skipped as most often the questions are not based upon them let us move to rule number 6 a pronoun is a word that is used instead of a noun or often used to refer to a noun that has already been mentioned in a passage you should always identify which noun a particular pronoun is referring to please pause the video read the paragraph and identify the pronouns with the nouns they are referring to this passage is about birds first pronoun there refers to birds their wintering ground means birds wintering ground next pronoun there also refers to birds and every autumn they return the same way again they refer to birds next line which says it's one of the busiest corridors here pronoun it doesn't refer to birds it refer to africa europe corridor lastly pronoun which refers to isthmus of panama so focusing on pronouns increases the flow of reading as you will know what where is said about whom if you keep track of pronouns you can read fast without losing comprehension many a times we encounter difficult and unknown words in the passage now i am not undermining the importance of vocabulary here but skip them if you feel that skipping a few words will not affect the understanding of the passage or else try to guess their contextual meaning to understand this better pause the video and read this para on your screen you will find some difficult words as highlighted now let us try to comprehend what this para is trying to say by skipping these words it says 18 months ago Mr Modi termed his party's electoral victory a dash for development now we can derive the contextual meaning from this line 
that Modi's electoral victory had something to do with development. Moving further, Para says, he has since allowed or more failed to stop the extreme and dash voices. Again, we can obtain its contextual meaning that Modi failed to stop voices. Further, it says, within the government and outside among the BJP and its dash allies in the larger Sangh Pariva is a matter of grave concern. The gist of this part is simply that Modi failed to stop voices within government and among its other supporting party. Reading further, as their dash and at times dash agenda dash against the very economic development that he has stressed upon. This part is simply saying that the agenda of allies is against economic development. Now we can get the overall gist from these highlighted keywords which is Modi's electoral victory was for development but he failed to stop the extreme voices and agenda of allies which was against the economic development. Thus the main idea can be obtained even without knowing the meaning of these words. Of course with a little vocabulary it would have been easier as well as accurate. Next rule is the most important and by far the most practical one. It says look for the main idea while solving the passage. Identify the sub idea that the author is conveying in each paragraph of the passage. The aggregate of these sub ideas will become the summary or the central idea of the passage. Now we can use some reading patterns here. Like in a lengthy passage with multiple paragraphs, read the first and the last para completely, but only the first line of remaining paragraphs to get the main idea. You need to practice such reading techniques to master this skill. Read this para on your screen. The first line is, advertising affects our lives every day. Now even if we skip what is written after this, we can get the main idea which is the effect of advertising on our lives. And you can see this is what the para is talking about. One more tip which I would like to club with this one. Every sentence that you read, read only till the point where you feel that it might yield something useful. The moment you realize that it is irrelevant, you can leave it. So this was all about skimming. One disadvantage though, well I should mention this, skimming affects comprehension. Many a time you might skip through some important data. But with enough practice, you will be able to reach a level where you will be like, I have skimmed through this passage and I have just the information required to solve these questions. So next time you solve an RC, try and apply these points. These rules are not hard and fast laws of RC that can be or should be applied in all examples. But practicing these rules as and when applicable will drastically improve your speed. Thanks for watching.